Sorry, this is chapter, uh, chapter 13, lesson 6, the area of the rectangle. Somebody tell me how do I find the area? There were two letters, and they represent what? Okay, but I, there were two numbers that I needed to multiply. There were, there were certain sides that I needed to multiply. Thank you. Good job, Samuel. Okay, area, I'm going to write it here. Equals length times width. If the if the uh, if the unit squares inside are one, I can just count all the unit squares, right? But if the rectangle doesn't have any squares inside, okay, if I don't see squares in here and it's just a solid color, then yeah, I'm gonna multiply ten times seven. But if I if I just do this, I can just count all the squares. Tower right? rectangle with unit squares. So, for example, a park manager is building a smaller rectangle playground. It will be 10 meters by 77 meters. Its area will be covered with sh uh, shredded tires. What is the area of the playground that will be covered with shredded tires? One way to do it is tile the rectangle. I mean, they made 10 columns and then make seven rows and they, and they have all these little squares. How many squares are there all together? 70. If I counted 1, 2, if I do that and count all the way to 70, it would take me forever. But you're right, 70. Another way to do that, okay, like you just, uh, somebody just told me, okay, is area, length, times, width. So the length would be 10, the width would be 7. Okay, so length times width would be 10 times 7, which is 70. 70. So the play, so the area of the playground is how many square meters? 70. 70. Could I do one way over the other, or could I do, it doesn't matter which way do I do it to solve the problem. It really doesn't matter. Some of you will just multiply 7 times 10, boom. Some of you, you're, you're going to have to uh, tile the rectangle and count all the squares. That's okay. Measure areas. The Perez family wants to put this sandbox in their backyard. What is the area of the sandbox? Let's look at two ways for finding the area of the sandbox. One way is to count the square units. Start by drawing an area model of the sandbox. Since the sandbox is five feet wide, draw five rows. Since the sandbox is 10 feet long, draw 10 columns. Count the number of squares in the area model. There are 50 square feet. Another way to find the area is to multiply. Multiply the length times the width to find the area. The length of the sandbox is 10 feet. The width is equal to 5 feet. 10 feet times 5 feet equals 50 square feet. So the area of the sandbox is 50 square feet. So, they give you the equation that we talked about, or the formula, is an equation that shows the relationship between two or more quantities. So, the formula, or the equation for area, is, what was it again? Length, length times width. width. Okay, the length is the size on the top and bottom, and the width is on the sides uh, on the left or right. So to find the area of a rectangle, multiply the length times the width. That gives you the area, that means the area inside the rectangle. Okay. If I'm counting all the sides on the outside, that's called perimeter, correct. And are we looking for that right now? No, just the area. So look at example number two, it says find the area of the rectangle. Okay, replace each symbol 
with its value. So if I have area equals, what's the formula again? Length, length width. Length times width. I'm going to replace the L with what? With, well, it depends where, if it was tilted, okay, flat, the other way, it would be 9. Or you could use 5. Okay, and they replace the width with 5. And then I have to multiply. So 9 times 5 is 45. Good. So the area is how many square feet? So look at number one. It says find the area of, of each rectangle. All right. I could. So what's the formula again? Area equals length times width. So number one, what's the number I'm multiplying? Six times two, which is twelve. And the area for number two is. Now, how do I do? How do I get nine? Three times three. So I'm just multiplying the sides. Am I multiplying all 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 four sides though? No. no. I, I'm only multiplying two numbers. I'm multiplying the length and the width. Here's a practice phrase. I'm gonna do the first one for you, then you do three, four, and five. Right. Again, area is length times width. So number three, there's three, uh, four feet. Four feet times seven feet. Length times width. Can I could, could I also write it like this? Seven times four. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. For both of these, my answer is going to be. 28. So it's 28 square feet. Go and do 4 and 5, please. Again, you're just multiplying the two numbers. And again, area is length times width. So for number 4, you should have 5 times 4 equals 20. Number 5, 8 times 6 equals 48. And number 6, 10 times 4 equals 40. Square units.